In recent weeks, we've been covering Sublime Text build systems and how you can customize them by having them have variations depending on what you're currently working on or the platform that you're currently working on. What if the variation in builds that you require is something that's a little more esoteric? What if you wanted to add extra variables or extra keys in the build to control what the build is doing? Is that possible in Sublime Text? What a silly question. Of course, Sublime's got you covered. Hello, fellow Sublime Text fanatics. Odat Nerd here. Today, we'll be talking about custom build system targets. But before that, a reminder that if you're finding these videos helpful or useful, please thumb and subscribe as you yourself deem appropriate to the situation. And if you have any questions or comments on this video, other videos, or suggestions for other Sublime Text topics you'd like me to cover in one of these videos, drop those down in the comment section below or hit me on Twitter at Odat Nerd. Now, as I said in the introduction to this video, what if your needs for what you want Sublime to do with your build system range beyond what we've already covered? As it transpires, it is in fact possible to hook into the Sublime build system process with custom plugin code to make your plugin do pretty much anything you want it to do within the realms of what's possible to do in a Sublime Text plugin anyway. And this video is a simple example of that. Now, this is not a topic that's going to go in great detail about how plugins work in Sublime Text, and it's a particularly simple example. But next week and in coming weeks, we're going to work on a more complete uh, example uh, for various situations that are really the most common situations you run into for something like this. And again, we're going to go back to our just sample standard C program, as we see here, the same as from a few videos ago. And we also have this build system, the tiny C build system. Now, what if there was an extra variable we wanted to add in here, um, maybe the name of the current computer because I was going to use it as part of a debug message or something along those lines. These are the very common things you might want to do. Now, as it turns out, there's an extra key we can add into this build system to tell Sublime that instead of doing what it would normally do for a build, it should run our plugin code instead. And that key is the target key. And the target key takes as its value a string that is the name of a window command that should be executed. Now, when you don't specify this key, the default is the exec command, which ships with Sublime and is something we'll be talking about in an upcoming video. But in our case, we could make this be any command that we wish to create. And when we execute this build, Sublime will run our command instead of what it would normally do. So say, for example, I created this and said that this should run the build echo command. So now when we use this build, instead of what would normally happen, Sublime will execute the window command named build echo and use that to run the build instead. Now we don't have such a command yet, so we should probably make one. Now, as you remember, we can say new plugin uh, from the command palette. I added that to my command palette. You can use tools developer a new plugin from the menu if you haven't done this. And we get the stub plugin and we're gonna go ahead and replace it with this one that I prepared earlier so that I can go ahead and save that. And we can see it just automatically wants to put it in my user package, which is why this is the fastest way to get a plugin up and running. I'm gonna name it build echo.py just because Remember, the name of the file doesn't actually matter. That's just going to remind me what this is for. Now, what does this plugin actually do? Well, it creates a command called build echo, as we can see on line seven, and it is a window command. That's important. There are three different kinds of commands plugins can uh, implement, text commands, window commands, and application commands. Text commands are specific to the file being edited. Application commands, there's only ever one of them created for the application as a whole. And window commands are created one instance per window in Sublime, and that is what we need to use for custom build targets. Now, our run method is the method that gets executed whenever the command gets executed. And here we've used the Pythonism of star star kwargs to tell the Python 
Python interpreter that no matter what arguments we get, just stick them all in a dictionary. And then there's a little bit of plugin code here. On line nine, we create an output panel named build echo. That's going to create a panel in the panel chooser in the bottom of the window, which we'll see in just a second. We add some settings in there to turn off the line numbers in the gutter so it looks like the build output that the regular build command would generate. And then we append a version of the keyword arguments that's being converted to JSON and indented to four characters and show the panel. Now with that in play, let's take a moment to examine our build system. So we have a key named target tells us to run the command build echo. We have a shell command that is tcc run with dollar file, which should expand to the name of the current file. We have a file regex to be able to capture errors in this file, should there be any. We have a working directory to tell Sublime what the current working directory should be. There's a selector that tells it that this applies to C files. And there's this variance thing at the bottom that specifies an alternate way to run the build. Now I'm going to switch back over to the hello.c and choose build. Now for our purposes, I'm going to go ahead and just choose the tiny CC build. And we do that, this panel immediately pops up in the bottom of the window. I'm going to bring my mouse in here to size that up for us a little bit. And as we can see in this panel switcher there, this is the build results that the normal build command would be in, but ours is in a panel named build echo. And I'm going to go ahead and switch that build system up there back to this. Now, as we can see, if we look at the output that we got, this plugin is generating to this panel the arguments that it was passed. And it was passed some, but not all, of the arguments up there in the build file in the upper part of the panel. Now, I'm using the uh, package dev package to provide me enhanced syntax highlighting. And you might notice that the keys that are read in this particular uh, build file aren't presented as arguments, but the ones that are blue are. And there's more documentation on this in the uh, doc official Sublime Text build documentation, which is in the description of this video. But the general takeaway is not all of the keys in the Sublime build file um, are used by the actual command executing the build. Some of them, like target and selector and variants, are what are being used by Sublime to figure out when the build actually applies, what it should be named, and how it should be executed. It's only the other fields in here that provide us the actual information on how to provide the build. So those are the only ones that are provided to our custom build target. You may also notice that up in the build system on line four, it says tcc minus run dollar file, but down in the panel, it says tcc minus run and the actual name of the file itself that is going to be uh, compiled. The other takeaway from this is that for keys that are normally used in a build system, and again, there's more information on this in that link in the description, Sublime automatically expands the variables for you before the command is actually executed. And that's a help for you because generally speaking, you don't want to have to write code to do that yourself. You just want to get on with the business at hand. So as we can see, this is a very simple way to hook into the build system process and be able to handle your own build systems. Now, what we could, of course, go ahead and do in here is say, for example, say new key like this, and we might say dollar file in here as well. Now, this isn't a key that normally exists in a build system, but because we've provided our own target, we're allowed to add as many keys as we want. So I'm going to go back to the hello.c file and build it again. And now we can see that down there, I'll switch back to the build, the panel now says new key. It's the, Our command has gotten an extra argument. So if you wanted to do that in a build, this is how you pull that off. Note also that dollar file isn't expanded in this key, in new key, which is also a different color from the other ones in this syntax highlighting. 
That's because this key isn't one that Sublime recognizes. It's not one that's normally used to convey build information to the default exec command. And as a result, it's not expanding dollar $file in there because it doesn't know that it should do that. In this case, you would have to expand that variable yourself if you wanted to. Now, again, this is a very simplistic example of this code, and there's a link to this down in the description below. You don't have to try and type this in yourself if you don't want to. But if you already know how to create plugins in Sublime Text, this is how you go about hooking into those uh into the build system to be able to execute your own code and gain full customizability of exactly what you want your build system to be able to do. Now, in the next video, we're going to go into a few more concrete examples about how you might actually use this in your own build systems. So there we have it. You can actually, in Sublime Text, hook plugin code directly into the build process and be able to execute any arbitrary command that you want. Now, as I said, in the upcoming uh, couple of videos, one or two videos, I'm not sure yet because I haven't recorded them yet. I don't want them to get too terribly long. We're going to go into some concrete examples of how this might actually work. Until then, please remember to thumb and subscribe if you find these videos helpful to you at all, and leave comments, questions, and suggestions for future videos down in the comment section of this video or over on Twitter at OdatNerd. But until the next video, this is OdatNerd asking you to please have a sublime day.